Welcome again, everybody. In this video, we're going to look at part C of this problem, where we had a group of order 8. Uh, the elements were uh, this E, R, R, R squared, R cubed, S, R, S, R squared, S, R cubed, S, where we knew that R to the fourth was the identity, we knew that S squared was the identity, and this told us how we could commute elements, so it's not really commuting. S, R is not R, S, it's R cubed, S. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at a, a different subgroup than the last video. So in the last video, we looked at a subgroup H. And here we're going to look at the subgroup K, which is generated by S. Now, S has only order 2, because S squared is E. So there's just two elements, E and S. And the question is, why does the set of cosets of K not form a group? So we know that G mod K is a group, if and only if. K is a normal subgroup of G. So what we need to do if we want to show that G mod K is not a group, then we need to show that K is not a normal subgroup of G. So one way that we can check whether or not a group is normal, so K is normal in G, if and only if each left coset of K is equal to a right coset. Right? Not only a, but even its, its corresponding right coset for all g and g. So let me take some element of g, and I'm going to take something that's not in k to begin with. So we'll say r. I'm going to look at the coset, right? the left coset of k with representative r. So this will be r times e and r times s, okay? which is just equal to r comma rs. Now let's look at the right coset, kr. So this will be e times r and s times r. Okay, well e times r is r, but now the s times r, well we need to go back up to the top here, s times r is r cubed s. Okay, so the r's match up, but the r s and the r cubed s do not match up. So this tells us that r k does not equal kr, which tells us that K is not a normal subgroup of G, which tells us that G mod K is not a group.